What's up everybody, this is Dimitar and you're back with me with yet another reaction today and this time I'm on a different place, I'm at my father's ranch and as you can hear probably there are some animals and sheep and cows and it's it's pretty, you know, cozy and man, the view is insane. So today, today we're checking out a very special drummer, It's very he's very special to me because I've learned a lot from him and he's been an inspiration to me. Well, it's none other than Matt Griner. I have so much to say about this guy and so much to tell you guys. So there's so many so much knowledge in his playstyle. And I hope that I'll be able today to analyze and explain what he's doing uh, to you and to tell you why he's been such a big influence to me. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's begin. By the way, uh, sorry to bother, but as you know, my Patreon is up and running and I gotta pay the bills just like everybody else. So if you'd like to support me and if you'd like to get further into my community, you can check the links below. And if there is a tire in Patreon you like, you can become my Patreon, be the coolest guy today. If not, however, you can always just share my videos, show it to your friends, show it to your mom. And yeah, everything helps. Thank you. Let's go. So usually I'm watching just one video, but since Matt Griner is so special, we're going to see two videos because I've watched pretty much every drum cam video he has out there. And these two are representing perfectly his play style and they're with very good angles. The sound uh, is not as, as good, but it's, it's audible. And uh, they're old videos, uh, one is from six years ago, the other is uh, from 11 years ago. But um, I think they're going to be the best to show what he's doing and, and to show his energy. Let's do it. The first one is called Mariana's Trench. And I lied, it's not six years ago, it's from eight years ago. Let's go. Watch his wrists and his elbows. By the way, uh, this video, whoever uploaded it, uh, has actually put the original song underneath. So we'll have the awesome possibility to actually hear uh, how accurate Matt is on live shows because nobody's perfect and uh, there is no musician that can be 100% accurate on the time. So when you're recording a song, usually people are uh, using quantizing, which means that they're snapping uh, every hit to the grid, so it sounds you know, better and immaculate. Uh, but this uh, is not a reality in most cases. So now we'll be able to see how well he performs. And by the way, Matt is a hard hitter. Just watch it, these symbols go. And being able to be so precise at this speed and at this level of hitting, perfect.
Yes! Blast it! Just see how huge... What huge motions he's using. And by the way... Zujun Oriental China? Man! That's loud! Notice how uh, whatever he's playing, and doesn't matter how hard he hits or how fast he's playing, his back is always straight, and his posture is always upright. And man, this is a posture of a god. Yes! Did you see that? I love how synchronized this band is and how disciplined they are and what great communication uh, there is between them uh, because to pull off choreography like this in the middle of a show, in the middle of a song and the singer or any other uh, of the musicians are coming and they're choking the cymbal I love this band. This is so cool. And you can see this uh, in a lot of their live performances. I'll rewind. He's like a sewing machine. Man, that Oriental China really is loud. All right, let's jump to the second video. This one is from 10 years ago and it's him playing 11th Tower, another banger. And uh, the audio is a little worse, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Open up this fucking bed. Once again, notice the posture. His back is fully straight and no matter what movement he's doing, his back is always straight and he's not leaning backwards or forwards. That's very important and he's doing it flawlessly. Once again, I want to quickly draw your attention to their communication and the fact that uh, even though they're uh, playing maybe for a hundredth time this song, even more, uh, they're having fun and they're communicating with each other 
and it's it's such a good example for a great band you know awesome awesome people i'm going to rewind again so we can see how they're smiling and the fact that it's metal doesn't mean that you can't smile Ooh. That's some tasty blasts. He's a human after all. Poor China. And he's actually pretty fit, physically, I guess he's been training, I don't know why, uh, I don't know what, <laughs> I know why, for health. This is the best part. By the way, um, he's hitting the China a little differently because uh, when you hit the China, huh, when you hit the China like any other crash, let's say this is the China edge and you're hitting it like this, um, you're going to produce a pretty loud sound like any crash would, but in order to get even louder and uh, even more noticeable, uh, you can actually hit the edge, the, the upper edge of the China crash which will make it 10 times more loud and uh, louder, not more loud. Yeah, just a quick tip for you guys. Out time. Let me see these pets. Oh. This is so great. Awesome. Well, guys, this is this was Matt Griner and he's been a huge influence to me and to a lot of the drummers that I know, including my brother Red Staff, and uh, we're holding him in you know, such a high regard and it's not without reason. So let me know in the comment section below, um, what are you thinking about Mike Granner? Do you like his playstyle? Has he influenced you in any um, sort? And also let me know if this kind of series is interesting to you where I'm trying to analyze and review and explain uh, my favorite drummers, your favorite drummers 
Um, do you find it useful? So I know if uh, you know this kind of content is actually um, worth it. Thank you for being here with me. And in case you didn't know, me and my bro White Staff are having a podcast. It's called Under the Shell. And you can listen to it in all the major platforms. I'll have post links in the description below. There is a playlist in my YouTube channel where you can listen to all the episodes. So give it a listen. We're talking about nice stuff. We're talking about motivation, content creation, uh, drummer stuff, all around musician stuff. And see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah.